Looks like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yeo each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Well, I'm not sure really what I have to do now. Dunn kept files on the gym's staff and clients. Name? address, and date of birth. Huh, I'm not sure. and steady heartbeat. Big, bright eyes. Looks well rested. Either she didn't mourn her father or she really knows how to work that makeup. What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, John? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul-smelling Weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this bourbon shake is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his daughter, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. I don't think Dunn killed himself. What? Do you have a suspect? Any leads? No, it's just a hunch. Although... I'd say a man did it. Who? Do you have a particular man in mind? I think Bobby Yale did it. My God! His pupil? On his own? Out of the blue? Now that's what I call a story. I doubt he did this alone. 
He must have had an accomplice. Well, who? Are you sure? Do I know the guy or, or gal? Well, I can just ignore, right? Because I'm talking bullshit right here. Okay, don't tell me. But it's not like I've done anything to make you doubt me. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects. Like O'Leary, bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the Wallace. Who was that guy? Come on! You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also Stone's agent. Bobby Yale's rival. Hey, he might have a motive, right? Hmm. He might know something about Dunn's death, right? I decided to ask Weekly to investigate Cassidy. My reasons? Weekly was right. Cassidy could have had a motive to kill Dunn. Weekly had already proven to be nosy. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order or a subtle suggestion? Yeah, you might be right about Cassidy. But, hmm, it won't be easy to make him talk. He seems like a pretty tough cookie. Only a thorough and efficient detective could pull it off. But the problem is, I already got enough on my plate. You're a lucky man, John Black said. I don't follow. You just found the thorough detective you need. Oh, of course. What a great idea. How did I not think of you? Hey, don't sweat it. But you'll have to do me a favor. Tell Sonya Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's News wants an interview. Weekly, please. Well, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. You know, there's a third option. What if I tell Sonya to sue you for spying on her? You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. Okay, you win. So, was there really someone on the roof? There was, but it was just a friend of mine. Oh, so now your friends are spying on me. Look, I had nothing to do with it. I even got him to stop. Sure you did. Dunn kept files on the gym staff. I'm still not sure what I should do in the gym. Name, address, and date of birth. Uh, no idea. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, you remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages Yale's rival, Stone, the reigning champion. If Bobby doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Okay. Could you tell me your birthday? Of course, March 6th. And the year? I'm 24, Mr. Black Sad. You do the math. No luck. I don't know why. Something just doesn't add up.
Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. Smells like paint. The proud South. Hmm. Jake, give me one good reason not to smash in your face. What the hell are you doing in my locker? I'm a detective. That's what I do. Yeah, and my friend too. But that's what I thought. Get off me. Sometimes, John, I can just punch you. Okay. Interesting. We have already two connections we can make. Let's actually do that. So. Let's try maybe that. This? Oh, okay. Well, the paint was red, so... No, okay. Arthur Tucker painted the racial slur on Yale's locker. Okay. And there's another connection. Jake, 
What mess are you in? Okay. We have two connections and I don't know what to do next again. You're gonna like what I have to tell you about the Dunn case. I went to Yale's place and ran into O'Leary's men. They were waiting for him. Ah, well, it's only normal. They run an illegal gambling operation. If a fight's canceled, they lose money. I'd love to take a swing at O'Leary, but we can't base the case on a hunch. I'm not finished yet. I think I have a new lead on the Dunn case. A close friend of Dunn's works for O'Leary. You mean that girl? citizen until we prove otherwise so there's nothing wrong with him hiring a bodyguard hmm I think that's it okay that was not helpful at all do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can yeah uh, no <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. Hey, pal, how about thanking a good looking goat with a cigarette? <coughs> 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 I don't think that's a good idea. You've got one nasty cough. Oh, come on. You know, cigarettes have lots of very healthy properties. Oh, come on. It's just a smoke, lady. It's just that I don't want to make it... You don't want what? What? Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Think you're not to blame? It's the government that shipped me off to war. They shipped me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. Well then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. Yeah, I killed people. And yet, you don't want to help me die. Wait, wait, but uh, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, well, you know we goats tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> the government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons. <laughs> Lodging, hookers, drugs. <clears throat> Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You help them cut my legs. <laughs> they declare <clears throat> war, war, every chance they get so that the weapon industry that finances their campaigns get gets richer and, and richer and richer. And that's how we finance their wars. So the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices. Unless one manages to keep at arm's length. <sighs> That is what I did, my loyal disciple, at the Million Star Hotel. <laughs> so, do like your master. Agree? Hey, what's your name? You never told me... That was helpful. 
Like very. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know. But we need to find Bobby Yale. Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. What's that? That's new. Thank you, Mr. Blacksad. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I... I... What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Had it been stolen? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with the... your father's death. Oh, oh my, yes. It could be. Will you please give me a moment? Of course. Yes? Feeling any better? Yeah, I guess. Thanks. Okay. We can make a connection. It's about the ring. Mary. Has a nice and neat handwriting. Okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia Dunn on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Well, that's a th th that's kind of obvious, no? No, okay. Hmm. Were Mary Purnell and Joe Dunn an item? Okay, um, huh. No? Hmm. What if Mary's birthday is the combination to the safe?
Another one? Holy shit. done for a gun on it. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? Alright. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me. Except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that go to Bobby Yeah. When was it signed? It was written four years ago, just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Do you think Bobby Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. Congratulations. You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. All right. Thanks. I don't think that's what was in there. A few bucks. Just petty cash. Okay. Can I take a look? I never asked about the gym's insurance. That's exactly what I'm reading now. So far it looks like your standard small business policy. You see, I've got this friend. He's a journalist and uh, the thing is, well, uh, he would like to interview you. Why? A woman running a boxing gym. That's quite the story. And how did this friend of yours find out, exactly? I'm pretty sure he saw the, uh... I don't even want to hear you. I just hope you prove your professional worth before the day is over. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Hello? I think I know who had your mother's ring. You do? Mary Purnell. I think she was in love with your father. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. I was my okay. Oh, it, oh, I failed. Oh, okay. Oops. 